as much as I can and then <laughs> everything breaks. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Arasa the Dancer is here and she is about to, I'm talking about myself as she. I am about to give you my five tips on how to prevent injury. Now, it's, it's going to vary, of course, depending on how crazy you lead your life and how crazy you dance or work out or whatever it is that you do. But these tips are very, very universal. So hopefully you're going to pay attention to them and look after yourself. Now, before we continue, make sure you give me a little thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Subscribe! Tip number one, always warm up before you do something active. Now, of course, you're not going to warm up before you walk, <laughs> right? But it is super important if you're going to go to a dance class, you do your little warm up for that. If you're going to do exercises, you do your little warm up for that. It doesn't have to be dramatic and very intensive unless you are going to do like an intensive workout, but at least some sort of movement warm up somewhere where you can stretch just a little bit for like five or 10 minutes just to prepare your body. So it wouldn't be in shock when something a little bit different out of the normally normal happens to the body. If you warm up, is absolutely so much better because then your body is going to be ready to take whatever you throw at it. My tip number two, stretch. Stretch not just as part of the warm-up before you do something intensive, but I mean stretch daily. If your body is not stretched at all, it doesn't matter that you're going to once warm up and then do a little stretch before some sort of crazy activity. Your body from that one time of stretching it is not going to respond that well. So what we want is to actually look after our body daily and stretch daily at least 5-10 minutes a day. Not a lot of dramatic stretches are necessary, but keeping it up is so important. So then your body gets used to it, it's as enough elastic as necessary, you not tense up in your muscles so they don't start breaking and doesn't start causing you pain where you wouldn't want it. Tip number three is a little bit more interesting. So I always say to my students, you have to get to know your body. Nobody will know your body the way you do. And you have to especially know the difference between being in pain that is good and being in pain that is bad. So for example, anytime you're pushing yourself through exercises or through stretches, you want to feel a little bit of discomfort when you do so because if you feel nothing, well, nothing is happening. But there's a big difference between feeling that you are actually pushing your body and feeling pain that is caused by some sort of bad positioning or some sort of already injury or, or something that's happening in your body that may cause an injury. So you have to feel the difference between those two. How do we get to know our body? We start doing everything nice and easy. And then gently we start pushing a little bit more. And then next time we, okay, that was okay. I push a little bit more. Rather than going, ha ha, I'll do as much as I can. And then <laughs> everything breaks, right? The more you get to know your body, the more you get to distinguish the good pain and the bad pain, actually the more you're going to be able to push yourself and do it in the right way. Okay, this is a funny one, but it is so true. You have to avoid doing any sudden movements in the morning when you just wake up or you know that first in bed stretch that you really want to do? Don't do it. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it many times and this is when, you know, you get that locked situation when you feel like you slept badly or something. This is why these things happen. Your body was in a static position, wasn't moving, and then you wake up and it's like, ha, oh, I'm ready for my day. And then you go, and then you are stuck in that position. It's, it's a horrific situation. 
Every time you wake up, you have to gently roll on the side and gently come up from bed. I know it sounds weird, but if you really want to prevent injury, that's one of the ways to do so. There's a reason why people are laughing that like they go to gyms and stuff and they don't injure themselves. And then, you know, they'll be climbing the stairs and they pull a muscle. You know what I mean? So there's a reason for that. Make sure in the mornings you are not making sudden movements and especially those stretches. Just leave them until you get out of bed and start moving around. When your body's already started moving, you can start doing a little bit of stretching, but not immediately. Trust me, learn from my mistakes. And final tip is actually specifically for all of my party people, and you know who you are. Please don't do anything dramatic whilst you're drinking. Now, why am I saying this? Well, I am a professional salsa and bachata teacher. And one of the things that happens through my career, you know, we go to a lot of congresses and, you know, we dance a lot, like three days in a row and stuff. So there's a lot of partying happening, a lot of people, you know, drinking and dancing. And what happens when you drink and dance? You suddenly feel like you can do so much more than you actually can. Suddenly you're like, split? Of course I can do split. No, you can't. <laughs> Don't do it. Even if you can, when we drink, our body seems to be so much more loose and so much more capable, and it really isn't. And that's when the injuries happen. Like I've seen it so many times before. So I know this is like a weird one, but this is specifically for my fellow people. And you know who you are. It's for you guys. If you're drinking, just keep it nice and gentle with all of the dancing. Do not exercise if you had a little bit of a drink. Like sometimes you might go to a bar and maybe have one cocktail and you come back and you're like, oh, I'm going to do some training. Just don't do it. Just leave that day. It's a cheating day. Leave it. Do not do anything dramatic while drinking. So guys, I really hope I left you with something new and you've heard something you haven't heard before. And guys, please leave a comment if you have any other suggestions of how people could prevent injury. Let's keep looking after each other and let's keep exploring this. Now guys, as I said before, if you liked the video, give me a little thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. All of your support is always appreciated. And if you want to see some more videos that are kind of the same subject, you're going to get them above me. Make sure you click on them and keep on exploring Rasas the Dances channel.